What's up guys? How you doing today? How are you? Are you feeling a little sluggish? Are you feeling a little tired, low under the weather? Are you bored? Well, you've come to the right video because in this video right here, I'm going to talk about all the songs that make me want to kick ass. Before we start, I just want to give a warning to anyone out there who is um, sensitive to controversial language. This video is going to contain uh, the excessive use of the word song. So the first song on my list is So Far Away by Social Distortion. So Far Away is the opening song off of uh, the self-titled so Social Distortion album, which was released in 1990. Um, it's a great opener. Um, it's a very direct, straightforward song that does not overstay its welcome. I love Social Distortion. I love how melodic they are. This is definitely one of my favorite albums. Uh, I listened to this a lot <laughs> in my younger years. I don't know, I've heard a lot of people say how Mike Ness can't sing. I don't know, does he does he need like a great voice though to front that band? Like, I love Mike Ness. I used to want to marry Mike Ness. <laughs> anyway, moving along to We Will Rock You by Queen. This song was released in 1977 off the album News of the World. Here's the thing, I, I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that, I mean, I'm, I know the song, I know every word to the song, I've heard the song 10 million times. I am not familiar with Queen albums, I just, I'm familiar with Queen songs, but I never know like which album they came, and I, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's like a, the fact that they were popular before my time kind of thing, because if someone names me like, like a Door song or a Beatles song, I immediately know what album that song is on but not with queen i prefer live versions of this song um just in terms of like casual listening although it's hard to just casually listen to this song because it just gets you revved up every time <laughs> um the studio version is just the studio version obviously you're not going to get the same energy um, the, the version that they have uh, live from Wembley Stadium is really amazing. I don't know. I don't even know what else to say. I, this It's as glorious as a song can possibly get. The next song on my list is what I would consider to be kind of a hidden gem. It's called Boys Want to Fight and it's by the band Garbage. I talk about this band a lot on my channel. I love this band. I've, I've been a fan of this band since the very beginning, since their inception. I hate the name of the band though. I, I just, I hate it. It's just, it doesn't, it doesn't fit in with the style of their music. Um, I don't know, Shirley Manson I think is one of the best rock singers and one of the best rock women uh, that we've ever had and I just feel like it's just it's like a weird disservice to her to call your band garbage <laughs> a band that she's fronting because she's so fucking awesome so anyway the song was released in uh 2005 off the album bleed like me this is not their strongest album this is definitely not one of my favorite albums but this song especially stood out to me this song is like I don't know it's like a great boxing song <laughs> if you box if you uh if you work out if you do anything active um it's just it's just this awesome aggressive uh smack you in the face kind of song so i just looked up the song and they did not do a video for this song i feel like they should have done a video for this song i i could picture like like a bar and like a couple of girls like walking into the bar and having the guys all like leering at them and then having them just like kick all their asses <laughs> next song on my list is get skin tight get skin tight by the donnas this song was released off of an album by the same name in 1999 um actually you know most i would say like 98 percent of donna songs makes me want to kick ass they are a kick ass band um, they started in the 90s and they have, um, I don't 
don't know how many studio albums. They have enough. It, they have a pretty good catalog. Um, but yeah, their songs make you want to like wear a leather jacket and like get on a motorcycle. <laughs> um, guess who sold me my leather jacket, you guys? Uh, Jimmy Webb, um, who used to run Trash and Vaudeville in New York City. Um, that's where I got my leather jacket from. He was a great man. Uh, he passed away a few years ago. R.I.P. Jimmy. So back to the Donnas. Uh, it was four girls formed a band in oh, 1993 uh, in California. If the Ramones were girls and they got together and started a band, that would be the Donnas. So even though I recommend Get Skin Tight, I just recommend the Donnas in general. If you've never heard them, definitely seek them out. They are fucking Next on my list is a song by the band in this moment called Kalmanachi. The song is off their album Blood, which was released in August of 2012. I also want to shout out to the song Adrenalize off the same album. Both of those songs, Kalmanachi and uh, Adrenalize, are just incredibly aggressive, get you out of bed, if you are tired, they will wake you up type songs. <laughs> I love I love that whole album Blood. That's it's a really great album. I think Maria Brink is um, one of the best metal metalcore. Is that the genre that they're supposedly in? <laughs> uh, she's one of the best rock vocalists out there. Um, what she can do with her voice is really extraordinary, and you especially experience that in Comanche. It's Comanche, not Comanche. Sorry. And the final song that I want to talk about is kind of a weird choice. It's the song Anything Anything by Drama Rama. The song is off of the 1985 album Cinema Verite. Verite. Best I can do right now. Just a quick little story of how I discovered that song. I was watching Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4, and that song is in the movie. And I loved it. I didn't know the name of the song. I didn't know who, who sang it. I just, I loved it. And I was like, I have to own this song. So I went out and I bought the Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4 soundtrack. <laughs> it's not on the soundtrack. It's not on the damn soundtrack. So I went to my dad, who was this endless encyclopedia of musical knowledge. And I, I can't remember if I like read off some lyrics for him or if he and I were watching the movie together. And remember, this is before Google. This is before you could type in uh, any lyric into Google and, you know, the song would pop up. So um, I think we may have been watching the movie again at some point. And I, I asked him, like, what is this song? <laughs> and my dad said, oh, it's Anything Anything by Drama Rama. I was like, ah, oh, perfect. So that's how I came to discover the song. <laughs> I will be honest, I don't give a crap about the rest of the album. I've listened to the rest of the album and I just don't really care. It's not a bad album. I mean, they're a great band. Uh, I just I just don't care. I only care about that song. That song makes me want to do all the things. This song in particular makes me want to jump up and down and run around the block and clean my house and conquer the world musically. The song makes me want to do all of those things. Lyrically, it's a different story. <laughs> um, it's about a boy fighting with his girl, basically. How he feels like no matter what he does, it's it's never enough. So uh, thematically, it's it's not <laughs> exactly a uh, I want to take over the world type of song. But there is just something about that song. There is something about the beat, about the melody that... I just, I just want to go crazy when I hear it. And, you know, putting it on this list, I was kind of like, would this even be anybody else's kick-ass song? Like, I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> if anyone else would, would listen to this song and f like feel that way and like get so revved up. Um, I don't know. Check it out yourself. See what you think. I also happen to think that anything, anything is like one of the most perfect songs ever written, just in terms of like what I would think of like a perfect pop song and what that would be. 
Um, I consider it more of a pop song than a rock song, personally. Um, it's just it's just so perfectly constructed. So that is my list. Those are the songs that get me revved up the most, that get me the most excited, <laughs> that motivate me the most. I hope you're having a great day. Go out today and accomplish something. Do something that you've been putting off. How's that? I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like and subscribe and comment below and I will see you guys very soon. Take care of yourselves.